So after getting the rental car at Orlando, we headed up to Uppsala to spend a couple days exploring this medieval university city. We parked our car and headed straight into town and checked out the cathedral in downtown. So this beautiful brick cathedral. Last time I was here, um, there was a choir scene. The music was uh, absolutely amazing. And the sound just kind of hung in the air after the choir stopped singing. It was quite magical. The girls quite enjoy exploring the little nooks and crannies of the church. Although there's always a somber feeling in churches, it's kind of interesting to see how each town plays out in its own cathedral. After a little bit of history, we quickly took to the waterfront, got some ice cream, and wandered around the river in Uppsala. Um, it is a beautiful, sleepy university town during the summer. Lots of trees and green everywhere, but kind of devoid of students. We had the town mostly to ourselves this summer afternoon. Um, wandering around, enjoying the sights, checking out the old town, watching the joggers. As we explored, we ended our afternoon walk at a park. There's lots of fountains and picnickers, and people just really enjoying the wonderful summer air. But it was time to head back to our apartment for our next day's adventure. The next morning, after a lovely breakfast and coffee, we headed out to Gamla Uppsala to look at the Royal Burial Mounds. Um, right outside of town. These are Viking Age burials that uh, make up a large complex of mounds. Oh, probably about a 10, 15 minute drive from central Uppsala. Uh, these burial mounds were um, constructed after the person who's interned in them was cremated. So there wasn't a lot of treasure as the archeologists thought there was initially. And most of these were excavated all right around the turn of the century or even earlier. The mounds make for some stunning scenery and like I said are a complex of the large mounds plus oh, a couple thousand smaller burial mounds in the complex. There's a beautiful little visitor center here on site and we just happened to be there on the weekend when they were doing a reenactment festival. So the girls got an opportunity to explore various aspects of Viking life from making pottery and weaving to of course wearing Viking clothing. A Viking clothing. It's... How's it feel? Worn and heavy. <laughs> <laughs> The day was long from over when we headed back to the car, so we quickly threw together a nice picnic in the back of the car before we headed off to our next destination, the town of Sigtuna. Sigtuna, once again, is a cute little town with all these wooden houses, something you don't see in Sweden very often anymore. A lot of them have been replaced with stone or concrete houses. Uh, it's a great place to fika. Um, actually, it's the one thing I think of when I think of Sigtuna is going out for traditional Swedish baked goods and coffee. And of course, it was a little drizzly that day, so we took our walk um, to the end of town and had a lovely little fika before we explored the rest of town. Sigtuna has deep history and was active in the Viking era, and at this time it was actually connected to the Baltic. Um, there are several ruined churches through Sigtuna to explore and look around.
After we explored the Chert Ruin churches, we headed down to the shores of Lake Malaren, which is a freshwater lake nowadays. Of course, there was a lovely little play structure, and the girls had a lot of fun playing before we ended up heading back to our apartment in Uppsala. I want to see you in there. No, one second. And our next adventure continues in Dalarna, Land of the Little Red Horses. Thank you.